Good evening and welcome to African News Update on Top Accolade News. First, the headlines. Cameroon demolishes house after fatal landslide. Total Energies faces legal action over Mozambique terror attack. Sacked Burundi Central Bank chief arrested on corruption allegations. Details coming up shortly. On environmental matters, Cameroon demolishes houses after a fatal landslide. In a bid to mitigate the risks posed by the devastating landslide triggered by heavy rains in Yahounde, the capital city of Cameroon, authorities have initiated the demolition of homes in the affected Umbankolo neighborhood. The landslide resulted in tragic loss of at least 30 lives and left over 20 individuals injured. Due to the continued risks of additional landslides, authorities have designated the area a risk zone and have mandated the evacuation of residents from their affected homes within a 24-hour deadline. This move, though necessary for safety, has encountered resistance from long-time residents who now find themselves displaced without adequate alternative housing options. On business matters, Toto Energies faces legal action of a Mozambique terror attack. Survivors and relatives of victims from the devastating terrorist attack in Mozambique has filed a lawsuit against the multinational giant Total Energies, accusing the French oil company of involuntary manslaughter and negligence. The plaintiffs, including both survivors and family members from the United Kingdom and South Africa, alleged that Total Energies failed to adequately warn and protect its subcontractors working near the site of the attack. The tragic incident occurred in March 2021 when Islamist militants targeted Mozambique's port city of Palma near a gas project partially owned by Total Energies. The lawsuit highlights the imperative for companies to prioritize the safety and security of their subcontractors in regions prone to such threats. Still on business, sacked Burundi Central Bank chief arrested on corruption allegations. The recently dismissed governor of Burundi's central bank, Dio Done, Murenge Rantuari, has been arrested on allegations of corruption. The Burundian Justice Ministry has accused Murenge Rantuari of undermining the national economy, passive corruption, money laundering and misappropriation of public assets. This arrest comes swiftly after President Evariste Ndai Shimiye relieved Murenga Rantuari of his duties and appointed Edward Normand Bigen Dako as his successor. Murenga Rantuari appointed just last year is facing ongoing investigations and the charges against him remain pending, underscoring the government's commitments to combating corruption at the highest levels. You are watching the news on Top Accolade News. Do stay with us. Still to come. Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. In sports, World's top marathoners set for Olympic showdown. A thrilling showdown is on the horizon at the upcoming Olympics in Paris as history's two fastest marathoners prepare to compete head to head. Kelvin Kipton, who recently shattered the marathon time record, eagerly anticipates a race against the legendary Eliud Kipchoge, the world's greatest marathoner and the previous record holder. Both hailing from Kenya, Kiptum and Kipchoge hold the two fastest marathon times in recorded history, boasting times of 2 hours 35 seconds and 2 hours 1 minute 9 seconds respectively. Kipchoge, a two-time Olympic marathon champion, is eager to secure a record toward Olympic medal, while the young Kiptum expresses his keen interest in participating in next year's Olympics. 
Moving on in sports, Kadif City withdraws Jamilu Collins from Nigeria friendlies. In a decisive move aimed at safeguarding their players' fitness and well-being, Kadif City's manager Errol Bullard has made the difficult but prudent decision to withdraw Jamilu Collins from Nigeria's upcoming international friendlies against Saudi Arabia and Mozambique. The 29-year-old left back who had missed a significant portion of the last season due to a severe cruciate ligament injury has been a key player for Cardiff City this season, featuring in nine championship games and contributing one assist. Given his recent recovery and return to form, Cardiff City's priority is to ensure Collins maintains his peak condition and avoids potential injuries, demonstrating the club's commitment to players' welfare. That concludes today's African news update. Stay tuned for more international news coverage and other stories from across the continent. Thanks for joining us. I am Jonathan Pawe. Stay informed and stay connected with us on all our social media handles. Do have a wonderful day.